it's Pelle here from Editing Visuals and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys this new shape plugin for After Effects. So I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make these cool looking shake effects you guys saw in the preview and recently a guy named Brian Delamata, I'm not pronouncing that right I don't think but he released a new plugin called Shake Sauce 2 and uh, yeah I bought the plugin and uh, tried it it's absolutely amazing and I'm going to be showcasing this plugin here in the tutorial how you can use it what features and stuff it has and uh, let's get right into the tutorial here so we're going to start off we are in After Effects here I have as you guys can see I have the Shake Sauce plugin here beautiful layout everything just looks clean and before we even go into the custom settings here it already has inbuilt presets here so as you guys can see here you have a lot of inbuilt cool looking presets here and you guys can see the preview here on the shake sauce uh, texture might want to add some pump here let's say double click on that it's going to make a adjustment layer here you will get this kind of shake here looks super cool and there's also constant shakes here and there's 10 inbuilt presets here and you might want to add, add this up and down double click on that one and then it's going to shake like this over your clip just the example there and you can also add flicker motion blur mirror you can add a lot of extra settings here to the uh, uh, shakes here and you guys also have these two arrows here where you can uh, go forward and backwards uh, one frame at a time super good to use otherwise you would have to go to preview then use these here but now to the custom version now go to custom here i'm going to press this plus button here so now we're going to make our own preset we're going to start here in the position settings here i'm going to set the frequency here to 12 and you guys can double click here then enter your value so 12 and i want this shape to be up and down so i'm going to be pressing separated dimensions then set the y amplitude to 280 the Y frequency to 50. Already got this look here. And then we're going to be keyframing these. So we're going to click the keyframe here. Then I'm going to go six frames to the right and the six frames to the left. Six frames to the right. This is going to be the end of the shake here. I'm going to set the frequency to zero, amplitude to zero, and the frequency here as well to zero. Then go six frames left. And here set it to zero as well just like that this is how the shake looks now pretty cool in my opinion after that you can change even more settings here this is just the position here you can go to the next one here it's rotation and scale we're going to set the rotation amplitude to 10 and then keyframe this set it to zero then six frames to the left set it to zero after that change the settings here again and here we have flicker and blur and we're going to enable the flicker setting here we're going to go to the middle here and then set the flicker brightness to three keyframe it again six frames to the right then six frames to the left and after that i'm going to be adjusting the graphs a little bit so i'm going to open up the layer here fix shake sauce 2 position dimensions and here mark the keyframes here press f9 and we're going to change the amplitude graph here so open the graph up we're going to be making a simple sharp graph here drag these two at the bottom in like that and then on the top in like that as well so now it's going to be a little more sharper and then when you are satisfied you're going to go to the transition point and you're going to set the center keyframes here so you're going to press this button here and you guys can see the keyframe is going to turn red here. So now the plugin knows where it's going to put the keyframes when you later add it as a preset. And after that you're going to press this save button here. Save. And then you're simply going to name your preset. I named my tutorial 2. And you can name your whatever you guys want. And it's going to get saved. So now when you're here in presets you can go to keyframed then your preset should uh, pop up here and you can just double click and then it's going to pop up like this here super simple super good and if you guys are interested in this plugin here which i think is very very cool i'm going to be linking it in the description so you guys can go and check it out and uh, yeah that was basically how you used and uh, made this shake here with shake sauce 2 if you guys like this tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe don't forget to check out our website editingvisual.com 
where we have a lot of amazing editing packs that's really gonna take your editing to the next level. And don't forget to check out our socials and join our Discord server. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.